Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be learning about what is the overview of the system and what are the settings and pre-configurations we can do in Schematic Manager. So let's get diving. As I mentioned, today's agenda is System Overview of PC7 and Settings in Schematic Manager System Overview. So here we are in our workstation. So we'll open Schematic Manager. The past created project or open project will be defaultly opened in Schematic Manager. So here we have Land View and Component View. The system overview consists of mainly four views. So basically the component view will be used for configuring hardware configurations. Like what are the number of CPUs in our user project or what are number of OSS or VCC operating systems connected in our project. And plan view basically gives a overview of what is our factory's hierarchy structure or what is our area structure. Apart from these two, there are two more views which will be helpful while configuring the project. Process object view. So this process object view will basically give a Excel sheet kind of view for all the blocks which we have inserted in the project. Or what are the charts inside the project? What are the blocks inside the project? What are the parameters or uh, like variables we have declared in the project? What are the hardware signals that are coming from hardware configuration of CPU to the project? What are the messages that are configured in the project? What are the variables that are transferred from our schematic manager to WinCC? It will be displayed in voice variables. And what are the icons that we have declared in schematic manager? will be displayed in picture objects. So uh, because uh, first time it will take uh, time to uh, fetch all the picture objects that we have declared in the project. And next comes archiving. So basically uh, WinCC Classic uh, will be coming with a six months archiving concept. So uh, it will work as a historian for but for a limited time. So we can historize or store the tags with the timestamp value for around six months. And what is the plant hierarchy structure? What are the hierarchy folders which we have defined in the project? Equipment properties. So uh, equipment properties in the sense, uh, on like for example, if we have any kind of uh, instruments and we are uh, declaring units for them so all those units can be configured in the shared declaration and the shared declaration will be having equipment properties so like some variables and uh, units measurement data will be stored in equipment properties about these two will be a deep diving in the upcoming videos here you can see the shared declaration emendations, units, and equipment properties. So I'll be explaining deeply about these concepts in the upcoming videos. So this is one view apart from component plan views. One more view is technological list editor. This will this view also will be used for doing bulk engineering. So this CM, EM and EPH concepts, these things will be explained clearly in the upcoming videos. Mainly process object view and technological list editor view are both used for performing bulk engineering. And component view will be used for configuring hardware components. And plant view is used for 
knowing the hierarchy structure of the plant and performing logical operations i mean writing the program in cfc or sfc and inserting os of and reporting components inside the plant hierarchy so this is the brief overview of schematic manager or system overview of the software next we'll be seeing what are the options we have what are the configuration possibilities we have in schematic manager in options we can customize some settings of schematic manager customize here you can see in general tab we have the default storage location of project and multi project when we are creating a multi project through wizard new project wizard this is the path where multi project will be saved so we can change the path using this browse button and you can automatically uh, choose which area you want to store and next comes language so this language settings will be shown in while installing pcs7 software we can select required packages so according to this the system will adapt the language to corresponding package date and time setting so we have given two options which the first steps of a national language will be aligned with the windows language or windows time second thing according to iso 8601 standard so here we have a view of what is the text color and when we are directly interfacing with online cpu or plc simulation what is the background color of the window like cfc editor area or sfc editor area what is the default color that can be displayed to differentiate offline window on online window and we have given a few more options to configure here and here the default project view so based on the option we click here those default view will be shown in priority while opening the multi project next columns so as i told basically we will be working with this four areas so what are the columns need to be given in the areas will be shown here for example in plant view i have selected one of the hierarchy folder so these are the columns will be provided while i am selecting with plant view in hierarchy folder let me navigate and close and i will click on my user project hierarchy folder so these are the columns i can configure using this columns view under process object view these are all the tabs general charts block parameter these are the tabs that i have given here and if you click on particular tab we will be having what are the columns that we can configure in the tab for example if i uncheck this other and last modification and proceed with okay my columns were disabled if you want to regain those folders simply navigate to columns first subject view hierarchy folder you can select other and last modifications so those columns will be again activated so we can 
customize the columns of TLE or anything. Uh, for example, in column view, so in detail list, I'll be having different columns. So these columns can also be customized using column menu. Column view. So here, symbol name, version, uh, other size type. These things will be removed if we untick the check mark here. And next, message numbering. So basically in PCS 7, whatever the messages we are creating in CFC area or logical area or alarms, those things will be defaultly given some number to communicate to OS. Previously, the mode is uni uh, uniquely we user need to provide project oriented unique messaging numbers. So we will be giving unique number for every message. And after few years, it was adapted with CPU oriented unique messages. So whenever we are creating a CPU in our user project, automatically it will create it its own uh, messaging number. So it will be communicated to the OS. So you can choose any of these two options or you can always prompt for setting while creating a user project. Wizard. So here uh, we have a complete setup of DCS. So it is definitely selected to PCS 7. Then you are uniquely working on Step 7, when you are uniquely working with CPU 315 with Step 7 5.2 or 5.7.2, you can check Step 7 and you can work with only component view area. And finally, archiving. So as I previously mentioned, our uh, PCS7 WinCC component have inbuilt capabilities to store archiving tags for six months. So here we can configure what is the format of the archiving tag. And you can check, I mean you can configure where you want to store the archiving tags using this option. You can navigate and the drive folder will be used for archiving of the tags. Apart from this, we have few more options for retrieval, secure archive, which is password protected. And for everything, for every dialog box, we'll be having a help file, which will navigate to inbuilt help viewer or simply we can press F1 on the required tab to open the help or you want to know exactly which component you are looking into you can always go to help here and you can select particularly select on which area you want so the corresponding help file will be opened the PUD manager help view will be opened and it will auto navigate to the corresponding topic. So this is, these are the customization settings offered in schematic PCS 7. And there you have it guys. A brief introduction of system overview. What are the probable views offered in PCS 7 and what are the customization options that are available in PCS 7 schematic manager so if you find this video helpful please give us thumbs up and for any queries please mark in comments thank you for watching and we'll be seeing you in your next video goodbye